Hey guys, and welcome back. I'm Sybin bringing you more Magic the Gathering lore. While the plain of Kaladash burns in the fires of revolution, it's hard to remember the days when simple inventors could join like-minded individuals to work on their shared field of interest. Back before all the tyranny and unlawfulness, inventors of all creeds had access to ether and thus the ability to work unfettered. When members of the same trade got together, they formed their own versions of guilds. These organizations became known as the Inventor Societies. Though they hope to progress their line of work, Kaladesh is in the throes of change, and these societies cannot sit idly by. The Glint Sleeves is one of the largest societies dedicated to the design and creation of wearable artifacts. The group started as gear crafters and foundry workers encountered various challenges throughout their days. Not having access to reasonable solutions for these issues, they decided to come together and build their own. While other groups on Kaladash have branched off from the Glint Sleeves, making powerful devices that can be worn on various other body parts, the Glint Sleeves themselves specialize in creations that fit over the wearer's arms and hands. While they originally designed custom pieces to solve specific problems, there have been those who've dedicated their trade to weaponry. This has birthed the unique weapons used by the Morphists. As the name suggests, their hands, equipped with special gauntlets, are the weapons. Some major cards featuring the Glint Sleeves include Glint Sleeve Artisan, Morphist Doorbuster, Volta's Brawler, Malfist Revolutionary, Sweatworks Brawler, and Malfist Squad. The Metal Spinners, a rogue group of inventors who see their creations not just as functional, but beautiful. The perfect fusion of practicality and artwork. From within their district of the Weldfast Zone, these artists specialize in kinetic sculptures, moving pieces of their genius forged in fire but designed in their imaginations. The Metal Spinners are the original rebels on Kaladash. Even before the Renegades came along, these inventors were busy protesting conformity in their own unique way. By displaying their beautiful inventions in public, the Metal Spinners raged against a society so heavily restricted by the consulate and the desire to achieve without love of your own craft. That's not to say these artists live without fear of harm from their own trade. This type of metal craft is considered very dangerous, You'll be hard-pressed to find a metal spinner not bearing scars of both fire and ether burns. Yet their work stands as a testament to an ideology that no physical mark can compare. One of their amazing feats of art can be seen on the card Metal Spinner's Puzzle Knot, a nod to the self-destructive nature of conformist society and a functional way to draw cards. The Countless Gears Despite their name, this society doesn't pride itself on making the most complex and grandest inventions on Kaladesh. Quite the opposite, in fact. Those of the Countless Gears have an unbound fascination with micro-scale artifice, building and designing machines and devices at a scale smaller than anyone else on Kaladesh. While some believe an invention's functionality to a purpose is the measure of mastery, and others believe nothing is perfect at all, the countless gears find that compactness is the greatest sign of an inventor's skill and the perfect measure of an invention's success. They're responsible for some of the smallest automatons and thopters on the plane. Tiny in size, but just as functional as anything built to scale. So long as you need a magnifying glass and a pair of tweezers to build it, rest assured those of the countless gears will be interested. You can spy some of their tiny works if you squint really hard on cards like Hope of Gearpur, Countless Gears Renegade, Ornithopter, and even the Humble Servos. And the last of the inventor societies for this video, the Green Wheel Life Crafters. On Kaladash, it's not uncommon to see automatons built to look like realistic animals found in the wilds of the plain. In fact, in the large city of Gearpur, you're more likely to see these lifelike recreations than the real thing. This is the great art known as life crafting, machines inspired by nature and built to replicate it. While many life crafters are elves from the fourth city of Pima, the trade has found new life in the cities of Kaladash. Even an old friend to the Nalar family, Avoya Pashiri, has taken to this discipline and is a sage life crafter. Their work is a celebration of nature and the balance Aether provides in both the wilds and in invention itself. 
as natural beasts are soaked in this powerful substance, they evolve and adapt new abilities. As Aether is hammered into a facade of that beast, the inventor has achieved the height of the Aether Cycle. Out of all the inventor societies, the Green Wheel Lifecrafters are the most represented on Kaladash through their cards. Some of their great inventions include Filigree Familiar, Narnam Cobra, Bastion Mastodon, Dakara Peafowl, Eager Construct, Weldfast Monitor, Pakata Pillarbug, Lifecrafters Beastery, and Filigree Crawler. And that's not including the various elves and humans depicted as being Lifecrafters. Truly, their discipline tries to bring the wilds to their ultimate conclusion and share that realization with the whole of Kaladash. Only these inventors fail to see how powerful a force Aether is on the natural world, and everything they build now could very well be obsolete in another year. And there you go guys, just four of the inventor societies which do their work on the plane of Kaladash. Still four more societies remain, but they're a topic for another video. For now though, let me know what you think about these societies and how their trade affects Kaladash. Which one of these quote unquote guilds are you most like? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video and want to see more, consider throwing the video a like, sharing it with friends, and subscribing for more Magic the Gathering news and lore. As always guys, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.